Hello, this is Dr. Gay from First Like MRI. And this is a 12-year-old male who injured his knee wrestling about six weeks ago. The pain has persisted and we did an MRI of the knee here. And we see a benign finding that is self-limited. Pretty common finding, but back here, this is the posterior area. This is the anterior area. You can see the kneecap in front. This is along the medial side. Here's the lateral side, outer side. But along the back of the femur, we see this scalloped area. It looks kind of bubbly where we see brightness underneath uh, the a periosteum here. So we call this cortical irregularity, or they call it avulsive cortical irregularity, which is just, they believe, a benign tugging lesion right where ligaments and tendons attach. So this is a side view where we can see the medial femur. Here's the femur up top, tibia down below, kneecap is off to the left, so we know this is the posterior part, the back, and this is a normal look over here in the middle. If we go towards the medial side, we'll see this scalloped area right here, this brightness. So again, this is what we call avulsive cortical irregularity, just a benign tugging process where the muscle and the tendons attach back over here, and they believe this causes the cortex to become bright and a little irregular, and with time, this just goes away completely, so they realize there's nothing to do, don't need to biopsy it, don't even really need to follow it because it will go away. This is just another view of the same thing where you can see that scalloping, Back here in the posterior medial femoral, we call this the metaphysis. This is the growth plate. And you can see here a muscle coming up. This is the medial gastrocnemius muscle coming up. You have a joint capsule coming up here. And these are a couple of the things that attach back here um, and may be accounting for the tugging process that uh, causes this. This is often seen in young athletes. And again, this will just spontaneously resolve. And again, we call this two things, avulsive cortical irregularity, or some people call it a cortical desmoid. And that's it. Thank you very much.